For the first time, we're hearing from the wife of Mario Verbeck, one of the four officers injured in a robbery turned shooting last month. She held a press conference this morning calling the shooting a nightmare and is blaming city leaders. News 13's Jackie Kant has the response from the city. A few weeks after the police shooting here, Officer Verbeck's wife is going after APD Chief Harold Medina and Mayor Tim Keller. She was upset and angry, saying she's holding both of them accountable for Albuquerque's crime problem. I am here to let people know that I am now your worst nightmare. You will not use my husband or the other officers as your political black backdrop. Trina Verbeck took to the podium outside City Hall this morning to air all of her grievances with APD's chief and the mayor. She addressed short staffing issues and is urging elected leaders to take action to address the crime plaguing Albuquerque and the state. It was on August 19th, police say Officer Verbeck and another officer responded to a robbery and found the suspects near the Dutch Bros here off Mountain and Juan Tabo. Shots rang out and Verbeck was left in critical condition after being hit in the base of the neck above his bulletproof vest. A total of four officers responded to the scene. Two other officers were also shot but are now out of the hospital. The fourth officer was injured by glass in the eye. It was after the shooting that Chief Medina had strong words about crime in the city. As a community, we have to draw a line in the sand. We can't think that we could assist every single individual. There are some individuals that, quite frankly, probably should stay in jail, and we can't be afraid to say that. In an emailed statement today, Chief Medina addressed the short staffing despite all of the new hiring, adding APD has to follow mandates from the DOJ reform effort, meaning they can't put every officer in the streets. He says, quote, we're also not going to politicize the criminal acts that hurt our officers or criticize anyone for their political choices. In a separate statement, the mayor's office says we need more of a commitment through the criminal justice system to fight crime and keep the community safe. You can read both of those statements at alwaysonkrqe.com. Back to you. We asked the Fraternal Order of Police how Officer Verbeck is doing and if he plans to return to APD once he's healed. They said it's too soon to know, but that he is doing a lot better. He was released from the hospital on Thursday, two weeks after the shooting.